Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to <clears throat> episode 70 of Boku no, no Hero Academia, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Yeah, she made me cold. <laughs> because I was a fan out of freezing now. You guys trained. Mm hmm. We're going to do it because they hard headed.
Mm, yeah, and the fact is this is more dangerous than before, but and you really don't want anybody to get hurt. I'm hungry. He looks so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you can talk tomorrow about Eddie, but about the all night situation, like, oh. Hmm? Oh. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Stop, you make me cry. Thank you, Tedoraki. I mean, let's just thank God they didn't have the kids do this because, I mean, yeah. Think about what happened the last time when we were trying to say Bakugo. I know, but it's going to take time. I'm 
so cool. No, several others. what it would look like. <laughs> yep, pretty good in a nutshell. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Mm-hmm. Okay.
me. Oh, oh yeah, he's gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I remembered. Baby, I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, because. You gotta have some real world experience out there, too. So it'll be fine. Let me stop. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> A little. Really? <laughs> Because, come on, you think they were going to be prepared for that? Mm. See, and this is why, you know, the police should not have been so far up in the front. Because then, you know, a whole bunch of people would have died. Why are you so old enough? Yeah, let's just go. No, I mean, come on now. Be smart about this. 
Uh, it's just going to be non-stop action for the rest of this damn show. I can't wait. You would end it right there, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God, no. It's too much. I'm not ready. <laughs> but seriously, like, from episode seven to probably maybe episode... I don't want to stay in ap to the final episode. I want to say maybe up until, like, episode 13, 14, or 15. Let's just say that for now, because the the arc of this, it is long, so I feel like it's going to go either 14, 15, um, maybe 16 or 17. I don't know, but the, the pacing of it, it's just, uh, they're getting closer and closer to the moment that I'm waiting for. At the same time, I'm not really ready for it because I'm going to be freaking emotional. Like, I feel like next week I'm going to be emotional as well, too, because so many things happen. And this is when a lot of, a lot more of my favorite characters are going to shine, especially like Tomiki. And I can't wait because it's going to be so good. It's going to hurt, but it's going to be so good. <laughs> and I can't wait. Like, uh, this episode, it was just, to me, from when I was reading it, it's just like the calm before the storm. It's a little chill. Yeah, we barely don't really get to see everything, but when it's time, when they got that call, it was just nonstop. We're just going to keep going and going. It's still a little calm, but episode eight is when it's really going to be like, fuck. <laughs> you Okay. There are times where, you know, I'm going to wait until the prison is over. <laughs> okay, as I was going to say before the preview came on, there were times, especially between the part where everybody is storming in and the point where, you know, Chiaki is going down to Eddie and talking about, like, yeah, we need to hide Eddie, like, somewhere else. Where I was praying to God, where I like, just wanted Eddie time to, like, make this time and be smart. Because, you know, like, typically, let's think about this. Like, not it's not kind of with, like, any kidnapping show I've seen or really a reenactment of a kidnapping or something like that or even some like real police force um video be that like somehow gets on Facebook or YouTube where I can sit here and think like what if the little girl maybe had a chance to escape while like their kidnapper was sleeping somewhere not near them because maybe Eddie Chung could have gotten away but because of the fact is that's just like oh that's just like mm, you never know if it's gonna freaking happen but because of the fact is uh, because she didn't do it like that. I just had it in my mind for, like, a couple of chapters. And I was like, okay, no, they're not going to do that. Because at the same time, even though I think it would have been a little too easy if Eddie John got out while Chiaki and uh, Wes's face were, like, not really near her, but since they're now at the door and they're getting her and they're going to take her somewhere else. But I think if they were maybe not upstairs, but maybe a little bit downstairs going into the secret basement and stuff, then is a possibility she could have escaped and then maybe ran into um Deku and Maru, but no, that's just like BS because that didn't happen and 
I want to talk about it, but I can't. But we're like the way it's going, we're really getting close to it. And I want to say, that's why I want to really say like this arc is going to be about either two episodes, 13 to 16. Because of the fact is next week, we're now going into Tamaki and Laro's backstory. And I really am super duper excited about it because it's so hella emotional and it just, it's so good. And it made me cry and I was just, I'm not ready for it. And it's going to be so good. Just see it in anime form. And the fact that Maro is there like that because they were just babies and they're not babies anymore. Well, they're still babies. Because I still love them no matter what, but still, I just can't wait. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futures episode 70 of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next <laughs> Saturday for episode 71. Bye, guys.